Stick pounding actually is a tradition that comes from the uh, Gullah South Sea Islands, which are the little islands around the southern part of the United States. So one of the things that happened during slavery was that when slavers would go out and they were looking for slaves, they would try to get people that were from different nations so that they couldn't communicate with each other. And so the Gullah people developed a whole language so that all the people could, could communicate with each other. One of the things that happened was that there was a great slave revolt. And the way that the, that the slaves communicate with each other was because it was the drums. So what ended up happening was that they banned the drums. And so what happened was that the slaves began to find other ways, to places to put the rhythm. For instance, a mortar and pestles where they would pound the corn. Well, the slaves would do that. What would end up happening is that they would use those pestles to make the rhythm. So everything that we do has a rhythm to it. Because when you have rhythm and you have that kind of feeling like this, it makes everything work better. It makes it easier for you to do the task that you need to do. And a lot of times the sticks were used and that rhythm, particular rhythm is used in sacred music to kind of get the spirit rolling and get things really going. And the, and the stick rhythm, the pounding rhythm is what derives the spirit, calls the spirit, it all impels the whole thing. And so I've been doing a lot of work over the years to take that tradition and to really spread it out because people as a, con as a group don't have that experience of pounding the sticks and feeling that vibration on the floor. It's incredible. And you get, you know, I got 55 kids that are doing this in a big circle and all of that energy, everybody pounding rhythmically together, having their feet and everything going on in the same direction. The energy is immense. To bring that energy into, I, I kind of want everybody to have that experience of a collective energy of, you know, wood and earth and feet stomping. There's something very, it's, it's beyond congregational. It's, it's, it can connect all of us as, as, a, as a human tribe. And I feel that this is a great way to do it because you don't, first of all, you don't have to know how to play the drums. All you got to be able to do is to move your feet. And then I, I break it down and teach it to large groups of people so that it, it starts out simply and then we add layers and layers and then people are just electrified. I've done some work with people who are going through some kind of transition, people who are dealing with, with illness or that, and we just stick and pound together. There you go. Now bend your knees a little bit. There you go. And it's amazing what happens with people. It takes it out of the realm of tradition, from the traditional to the transformative, which is really where I want to take the whole thing with the, with the stick, to be able to use it in a whole nother way. Because, you know, rhythm is an integral part of all of us. So when it's the first thing that we're aware of when we're born is that rhythm in the heart. And I think that the stick is a way for people to get back connected to that heart rhythm, and I think it's really important, and it's primal, and it's wonderful. One, two, three, four. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. Now here's the secret. Go to the hardware store, get a four foot dowel, like an inch and a quarter, put some varnish on it, sand it down so you don't get any splinters, put some cloth, I have some uh, wonderful cloth here, mud cloth, and you see I've been playing these for years so it's worn down. And then you pound. 